Hi, I'm James Moore with Ideal Calibrations, and today we're going to be looking at how to get the Draeger Exam 5600 started up for the day, and just what you're supposed to do when you get it started each day. Now, this is a special unit. It's got a CO with a null hydrogen sensor in it, as well as a hydrogen sensor. Uh, so we'll take you through what we have to do to check each one. It's going to take two cylinders to get started today. So, turn it on, press and hold the green button on the right. Wait for the countdown. There we go. Okay, I'll we'll put that down. All right, now here we've got our cradle with our tubing attached on the in, and then we have a 0.5 liter per minute regulator here. And we're going to wait for it to get through startup, and then once it does, we're going to start off. We're going to uh, calibrate, not calibrate, I'm sorry. We're going to go through a bump test. We're going to use the hydrogen, 500 parts per million, as well as a 100 parts per million CO cylinder here. Uh, so we're not going to go through a calibration, so we don't need to set the accuracy. We're just checking to make sure this works before we go out in the field today. It's just called a daily bump test. So what we're going to do is take our regulator, open the valve on it, and we're going to start with the hydrogen. Screw that on. Close the valve. Okay. And now we're going to take this here, and we have to get it inside the calibration adapter. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is take this boot off. And the way you do that is you open up the bottom here, push it out, and pull it out the top. And we just put that aside. Now we'll take this here, and you just put it up in there uh, along with the metal line, and click it in. Now we're going to put this back on the tubing, cause it, uh, on the hose bar, because it came off. There we go. Okay, now all we need to do uh, is we're just going to start the gas to flow into the monitor. And now what we're looking for is we're just making sure that the sensor responds and starts going up rapidly and that the alarms start going off, just like that. And we can feel the vibrating alarm, we can see the flashers, and we can hear the horn. So that's good for that gas. It went up nice and quick. We can go ahead and turn this off and unscrew it. Now we're going to switch gases. So we just tested hydrogen. Now it doesn't have to read exactly 500 parts per million, uh, we're just making sure it's getting close. We're not doing a quantitative test here. In our valve, and now we're going to screw in the carbon monoxide. And now just, just let that one go. And you don't need to close the valve here. So now we're going to flow the carbon monoxide gas down the line to it, and we're going to kick the hydrogen out of there. Now one thing to keep in mind is the hydrogen sensor on here. We're going to silence this alarm real quick for a moment. We know, we know it works now. One thing to keep in mind is that the hydrogen sensor here has a cross sensitivity with carbon monoxide. I'm going to silence that again if I can. Uh, unfortunately, we're up high enough, it's not going to let us silence the arm, so you're just going to have to hang out with that. Uh, but essentially, there's a three part per million cross sensitivity on hydrogen. So you see how it's at about 300? and this is almost at 100, that's just fine. That's normal and to be expected. All right, looks like this one works. Let's turn this gas off. And now we push this button here to pop it. It comes out, and let's let the sensor air out. And we put this off to the side. There we are. Now let's see if we can... Once you drop it down out of alarm two, it'll let us do it, but it takes a second to get there. Okay. There we go. All right, now you want to put this back in here. And to do that, you put the top end here in first. Just kind of slide it up in there. And then you take this bottom portion here, just bend it around it. And make sure you don't get that caught up in there so it hangs properly. Good deal. All right, now you can see our sensors all came back down to zero. Uh, so everything's good here. We're ready to start the day and this monitor is good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Phone number here is 734-956-0539, or you can shoot us an email to support at idealcalibrations.com. Uh, if you like the content, make sure to uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you much. You guys have a great day, and stay safe out there.